sorry about that. That uh, video that you were just watching got cut off, so I had to put an additional link to wrap up this segment of the um, teddy bear patchwork lesson. So this is where we are right now. We have our four bears that we've designed, and now we're gonna wrap up this section of the lesson by making sections in the background of our bear and then creating some different line patterns. So I'm going to get out, um, let's see, how about this right here? So this is kind of what we're gonna be doing. Here, you have some really cool patterns and designs in these four squares. Our bear is the main focal point, and then behind it is where we're going to put our designs. So this is what we're going to be emulating. And let's see if I can find another one in my pile of examples. We're gonna be doing this, right? We've already gone over these. And here's another example. All right, so I've already divided this teddy bear's face right here behind it. I did a line right down the middle of it, divided it into half, and then I did a line going across to make it so that I divided it into fourths. So pick one of yours, and I'd like you to divide it into four segments using this strategy. So go ahead, Sarah, you can pick whichever one you want. You I'm can... gonna do... This one, my first bear. Okay, go ahead and divide it. The oh, background. you already divided it? I did, yeah. Go ahead and you go divide it, and then we're going to move on to another one. You can pick any one you want. You don't have to pick uh, what I'm doing. I'd like you to use your own creative artistic style and do wait, wait, what, are we what gonna you do like. This, so we're going to do a background and then another. We're dividing them all first, and then we're going to put the background in. Oh, but are we going to put the background in this? We are. So this is what Sarah did. I just noticed a strategy she did that was really um, useful. She did. A, she drew her line down, then she lifted her pencil and she like hovered above the bear, and then she came back down and she did the line going down. Yeah, because I didn't want to go like on my bear, so I that and now for this one, I'm gonna go like that, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go that. And draw again. Thank you. Great strategy. I love sharing strategies. All right, cool now dot. choose another square. I'm going to choose this square right here. And I'm going to show you another way to divide it. I'm going to divide it into fourths again. This time I'm going to start at the corner and I'm going to make a straight line down through the bear. I'm going to oh. pick up my pencil and keep dividing this in half so it looks like two triangles connecting and then I'm going to come over on this side of the bear and do it again all right I now I did this I did a straight line down the top. okay so Sarah decided to do something different um I'm gonna do um she decided to just do it in half uh, here's another, like I said, please do what it is that you would like to do. I'm just showing you examples. However you'd like to um, uh, divide up the background of the bear, I'd like for these four, I'd like us to practice doing sections. And then your other two that you're going to create, I'd like you to do whatever you'd like, even if that means that you're not going to divide the background into sections. I, for my third one, then I did a line like that. Okay, can I, can I see it again? So Sarah's doing a swooping line to divide it into two sections. Very, very nice. I think I'm going to... And this one, what should I do? Hold on. I'm going to catch up to you. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to use Sarah's uh, technique here of a swooping line. And then for my fourth one... Um... All right. So I'm going to have two sections here. And then um, this one right here, I think what I will do is... Perhaps. Let me think. Do you have an idea of what you're going to do? Um, I think... <laughs> did you already do this one? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know what? Did I, you do that one? Uh, no, I haven't done that one. I think I'm going to do one where we have four areas in these two. We have two areas in this one. I'm going to do one that has three areas. Uh, how about how this? Do you do that? I wanna watch. You want to watch? Okay. Yeah. 
So see how my Loma Vista hands are, the arms are pointing up? Me too. I'm going to take my line from the, the top corner and come down to the bear right here and then take my line from the top corner and come down to the bear. Oh. And then, oh goodness, sorry, I'm shaking. Uh, and then I'll have one, two, three sections. So those are, those are my four sections. So go ahead and do that. And now we are going to go on to uh, designing the backgrounds. I'm so I'd like you to get out your warm-up. And this is going to be your inspiration. This is your warm-up paper. And all these lines that we practice, and I think on this side you guys took the time to do some more of your own. We're going to use those. And we're going to fill in the background with different patterns and designs. So I'm going to just start here with this swooping bear. And I'm going to do circles. all in this area. Wait, can we do start with this one? You can start with whatever you'd like and you can do whatever designs you'd like. Good. <laughs> I'm going to do a straight line first. Okay. I'm doing circles and I'm making my circles big enough for me to be able to trace them with Sharpie. If I do my details too small, then I won't be able to trace them trace over the, my lines with my Sharpie. And I put my mine far apart, not like in here, so I can trace the Sharpie. Okay, Sarah did her straight lines down far apart so that when she traces, there will be enough space using yeah. her black Sharpie. All right, I'm filling in my circles. This is a time to just enjoy, relax, practice some different line patterns, different shapes, get creative in your own style. You do not have to copy me. You do not have to copy Sarah. You do your own Oh, Mama, design. see, now I can't go down because... Because you hit the bear, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to move on to a different se section. And I think this one, I'm going to follow this line and just do some, some swooping lines going in like this. I'm just going to run the lines parallel. And I'm done with that section, just like okay, you Okay, move on to the next section. I think I might do stars. All right, Sarah's going to do stars for the next one. Mm-hmm. All right, I think I'm going to move my stand a little bit so that it's not so Oopsies. shaky. That's okay. You can leave that there. Oh, okay. I'm fine with that. All right. So I'm doing parallel lines. You are doing the lines you'd like to do, the pattern you'd like to do. So I am now finished designing this square. I'm gonna put it off to the side and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do cursive ease in this one. I was gonna do that next. You were gonna do cursive ease? I know you guys are learning cursive right now. I know, I showed my mom. Yeah. So you could do cursive E's, you could do cursive L's, you could do cursive S's. I know. Have you learned? Have you gotten to S's yet? No. Not yet. You can only do if what we learned is A, C, D, H, F, P, E, and I think there's one more. I don't. I don't know, but I think I know that we learned those guys. Okay. All right, I just finished that section, almost I should say. I have some area around the head I can fill in. So I have three sections here, I did one. Now I'm gonna pick another line. I'm sorry you guys, I just keep shaking this. That's not fun. Are you erasing or? I'm not, erase, I'm not erasing, I just keep hitting it funny. Okay, this next one I'm going to do, let's see, how about? Mine? Oh. Mm -hmm. So Sarah did stars here. She did straight parallel lines I running think vertically. I'm going to do um, either hearts right here and, and like swirly lines. Curs those. Cursive Curs ease. ease. Okay. You keep going with that. We're going to wrap up the lesson here very soon. I think we're about done with this section. And then we're going to be moving on to the last video next time. This one, I think I will just do some 
a line down and a dot. How about that? Remember, you do your own. Everybody's is going to be uniquely different. Your creativity is what we're looking for. And most of all, having fun. Wait, did you write that on the paper? To have fun? Yeah. You I, should. I sh that should be one of my rules, right? Have fun? That should be your fifth rule. Print it out. <laughs> okay. And have fun. And have fun. All right. I'm almost done with my heart. Yes. And I'm... All right, I'm going to move on to this last section right here. This one, I think what I will do is and I another did my shape. You did hearts? Okay, I'm going to do hearts too. And I'm going to do cursive east. Okay. I'm doing hearts. Make sure that you make your designs, like I said, with enough room to uh, trace works. over with your Sharpie. The next step we're going to be doing is we're going to be tracing with Sharpie. And then we are going to use color pencils or color crayons to um, color everything in. A rule should be having fun. <laughs> if that really should be a rule. Be All right, I'm gonna finish up my hearts. Okay. All right. I just finished up my second square. There I go. Okay, I'm done with my second square. And now I'm going to move on to my third square. And then I'll do my fourth square. I'm going to wrap it up here. You guys have the idea. So before you start the next video, you are going to do all four of these squares complete. And then your two blank white squares that you have left. Oops, that wasn't blank. Um, you can use mine. Here. Thank you. I did these two for my, um, uh, for my, uh, your, whatever. Your four, fifth and sixth one. You did that one and that one. That yeah. one did a uh, small one and that one did, wait, did I do this one for my? Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to wrap up this video. So what you're going to do, excuse me, your two blank papers, your two blank papers, you're going to do exactly what we just did. You're going to create a bear on both of them. You could do a big head. You could do a big body. You could do a half a body. You could do a fourth of a body, or you could do whatever you come up with. Design the background. And then when we come back for video number four, Four, actually that's correct it'll be link number four for this lesson we are going to be using black sharpie and either color pencils or color crayons to finish up the lesson you guys did awesome I know this is a lot of work you guys can do this in a lot of days and, and you can do this over the next few days take your time have a good time take breaks when you need them and the most important thing is that you're having a good time and you're creating beautiful art that you're proud of all right, we will see you next time. Bye.